Good morning and welcome to St. Mary Parish as we celebrate the Monday of first week of ordinary time. We recognize that Jesus has come to us and he tells us and challenges us as he gives us the gifts that we need to repent, to know that the kingdom of God is at hand. And so we began in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. My sisters and brothers, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. Attend to the pleas of your people with heavenly care. O Lord, we pray that they may see what must be done and gain strength to do what they have seen. For our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. A reading from the beginning of the letter to the Hebrews. Brothers and sisters, in times past God spoke in partial and various ways to our ancestors through the prophets. In these last days he spoke to us through the Son, whom he made heir of all things, and through whom he created the universe, who is the refulgence of his glory the very imprint of his being, and who sustains all things by his mighty word. When he had accomplished purification from sins, he took a seat at the right hand of the majesty on high, as far superior to the angels, as the name he has inherited is more excellent than theirs. For to which of the angels did God ever say, you are my son, this day I have begotten you. Or again, I will be a father to him, and he shall be a son to me. And again, when he leads the firstborn into the world, he says, Let all the angels of God worship him. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our response soil song will be, let all his angels worship him. Let all his angels worship him. The Lord is king, let the earth rejoice. Let the many isles be glad. Justice and judgment are the foundation of his throne. Let all his angels worship him. The heavens proclaim his justice and all peoples see his glory. Let all his angels worship him. Let all his angels worship him. Because you, O Lord, are the most high over all the earth, exalted far above all gods. Let all his angels worship him. Alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, Alleluia. The kingdom of God is at hand. Repent and believe in the gospel. Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you. After John had been arrested, Jesus came to Galilee proclaiming the gospel of God. This is the time of fulfillment. The kingdom of God is at hand. 
repent and believe in the gospel. As he passed by the Sea of Galilee, he saw Simon and his brother Andrew casting their nets into the sea. They were fishermen. Jesus said to them, Come after me, and I will make you fishers of men. Then they left their nets and followed him. He walked along a little further and saw James, the son of Zebedee, and his brother John. They too were in a boat mending their nets. Then he called them. So they left their father Zebedee in the boat, along with the hired men, and followed him. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please join me in the intentions for this Mass. For John Tulin, please keep him and his family in our prayers. Boy, Jesus gets right to work. On this past Sunday, we celebrate his baptism. And on Monday, he's already calling those to follow him. And look who he goes to. He doesn't go to the religious hierarchy. He doesn't go to the temple priest. But he goes to people in the busyness of their everyday lives. People who are not very exalted in the nation of Israel. Fishermen, you see, first calling two brothers from a boat, the next calling two brothers from the boat when their father is right there along with hired men. And at Jesus' beckoning, they leave their nets and they follow him. And so we are called to do that in the different ways in our own lives if not literally, at least in the different ways where we can put so much of our lives, the busyness of things that are good, of family, of providing for our family with our employment, with our career, with our education, for our position in society. All those gifts that we've been given, we can often think that that's what we're here for. But those are just means to an end. Helping us in many ways, yes. Making our lives comfortable in many ways, yes. But it's always meant to give God the glory. That we are always called in all those situations to be that light of Christ. So first we have to remember who we are and whose we are and what our status is. As much as we might have an exalted status here on earth, in Evanston, maybe even at St. Mary, that's nothing to the status that we have as being called daughters and sons of God, recognizing that we are all brothers and sisters together. So we recognize the gifts we have been given and we make sure they don't become a stumbling block, that we look at our lives daily, especially at this time when our society even looks at resolutions for a new year. We are called to recognize where we have not gotten things right and to grow into this new year, seeking the Lord's will. So where is he calling us to repent? To recognize that the kingdom of God is at hand and that we are messengers that are much greater than anything that has been called angel. That we have been given the great gift of, becoming, of being called a child of God. And so let us go out today rejoicing in whatever way, whoever we will meet, even when it's in our very small territories as our lives have taken shape in this last year. Who can we spread that good news of Jesus Christ to? How can we show kindness? How can we do actions and also use words to say that the Lord is God forever? Let us stand for our petitions. As God's beloved children, we trust that our voices are heard. We put into words our needs and the needs of all God's children. For the church, that we may allow the Holy Spirit to empower and enlighten us so that our lives may manifest 
that we are the beloved daughters and sons of God. With joyful hearts we pray, Lord, hear our prayer. For healing of our nation, that God will heal the divisions in our country, guide all elected officials in fulfilling their duties, and help them to work selflessly for the common good. With joyful hearts we pray, Lord, hear our prayer. For a new springtime of justice, that we may strive to fulfill all righteousness in our words, actions, and relationships, so that God may be glorified in all things. With joyful hearts we pray, Lord, hear our prayer. For all those who are sick, that God's Spirit may rest upon them, relieve their suffering, and restore them to wholeness. And we especially pray for Dick Quinn, for Catherine Jean Hyen, BVM, and for Father Joe Tito. With joyful hearts we pray, Lord, hear our prayer. For our beloved dead, that they will inherit the life promised to those born again of water and of the Holy Spirit, especially Paul Quinn, and also victims of COVID-19, and for all those who died this week in Washington, D.C. With joyful hearts we pray, Lord, hear our prayer. And we pray the prayer that is in the quiet of our heart. With joyful hearts we pray, Lord, hear our prayer. God of compassion, despite our weaknesses and our sinfulness, you look upon each of us as a beloved child. Hear our prayers, that through the power of the Holy Spirit we might serve you with fidelity all the days of our lives. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we receive this bread we offer you. For the earth and work of human hands will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we receive this wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and the work of human hands will become for us our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. May your people's oblation, O Lord, find favor with you, we pray, that it may restore them to holiness and obtain what they devoutly entreat, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you, and with your spirit. Lift up your hearts, we lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty, eternal God, through Christ our Lord. His death we celebrate in love. His resurrection we confess with living faith. At his coming in glory we await with unwavering hope.
and so with all the angels and saints we praise you as without end we acclaim holy 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 lord god of hosts heaven and earth are full of your glory hosanna in the highest blessed is he who comes in the name of the lord hosanna in the highest You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more, giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit, Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Blaise, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray. And with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we wait the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom and the power and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant your peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever.
The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other a sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you in my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. Humbly we ask you, Almighty God, be graciously pleased to grant that those you renew with your sacraments may also serve with lives pleasing to you. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God. Again, we're told, repent and believe in the gospel. So let us go out today as if we believe the gospel in every action, in every word, in all the different ways we are able to connect with each other. Let us let other people know how important they are to us, how dear they are to us, regardless of past histories, that we are united as brothers and sisters in Christ. The laws fulfilled through Jesus Christ, a man who lived for others, the law.